Yeah, it bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. Do you have to? You associate with black people. But they're not in public? But why publicize public it on, on the Instagram and, and why bring it to my games? And so it goes on. Well, with me is American sports commentator Mike Carlson. Um, this is an odd one, isn't it? <laughs> Extremely odd. Uh, not least in the fact that his basketball team, which he owns, is pr predominantly black. The coach is black. The director of basketball operations is black. So the idea that his former girlfriend would embarrass him somehow by putting Instagram pictures of herself with black celebrities or bringing them to games is, is just completely bizarre. Yeah, I mean, and you, you know, if anyone goes to an NBA game in, in, in the US, you know, it is predominantly black yes. across most of the teams and fabulously skilled athletes they are. Does this guy have form? Has he got a past? He's got a ton of form, and that's the interesting thing. Um, Donald Sterling is a lawyer turned real estate magnet. Um, you might call him a slumlord in, in some ways, and, and he's had a couple of court cases in, in the last decade around that, where he's been sued for discriminatory practices in who he rents to. And his testimony in one of those cases is absolutely insane. I mean, he says in court that he doesn't rent to black people because they smell and they bring vermin with them. He has similar things about Mexicans and Puerto Ricans and any other kind of um, minority group you might, you might care to look at, apart from the Koreans, who he is renting that in that specific case. It was in Koreatown in Los Angeles. Um, so there is a lot of form, but it, there's never been a huge amount made of it. And in fact, he's received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the NAACP, which is a, um, a group that works toward racial equality. And he was scheduled to receive a second Lifetime Achievement Award, which is strange in itself, unless you believe in reincarnation. But, um, <laughs> but you know, he was going to get that um, in just a couple of weeks' time, and that's been canceled now. But what do you do? You can't kick out an owner. The owner is that, the owner. That's the problem. Um, and it's a real test for Adam Silver, who's the new commissioner of the NBA after, after David Stern retired after probably 30 years um, as a very successful commissioner. The commissioner, in effect, works for the owners. So even though Sterling has probably gone beyond the pale with this, he, he will have to be very careful in what he takes, and he will have to have the support of the other owners to try to force him out. Sterling is the longest tenured owner in the league. He's on the team for over 30 years and it's had very few winning seasons in that time. There are plenty of reasons to want him out. He is a loose cannon. He's 80 years old. This, this all happened on his 80th birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Donald. But um, if, he, if he's forced to leave, the team that he bought for $13 million in 1981, he will sell for, Forbes values it at $575 million. I've seen valuations as high as 900 because Los Angeles is just a huge money-making market. Uh, so so uh, let's, let's feel relief at least that he's not going to be out of pocket if he has to sell. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he, um, this all started with his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, who's part black herself. She's a mixed race. Um, um, black and Mexican, being sued by his wife, from whom he's been separated for a long time, trying to get back some of the money and things that he gave her, which included a Ferrari, a Range Rover, and two Bentleys, a $2 million apartment, and various other things. So her suit is what's prompted this, and, and it's a great bit of revenge. Yeah, it is an absolutely great bit of revenge. How do you think it's going to play itself out? I think Sterling, one way or the other, will give up the Clippers. Um, I think he'll, you know, he'll either be forced out or he'll be told to do the right thing uh, by other owners. And how much yeah. comment has there been from him since this all erupted? Mm, very little. Um, originally, the team put out a release saying it wasn't his voice, which, is, which will be, in the end, easy enough to prove or, or disprove and um, his wife his wife has called him despicable which which is interesting um, but he's trying I think to, to let it you know sort of ride it out and, s and see what happens there but I really think it can only get worse before it gets better and, and the only way out of it in the end will be to give up the team.